<laughs> Welcome to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. Here we can find the Denver Pavilions, or homeless veterans playing trumpet on the streets. Here in Denver, you can go shopping on the 16th Street Mall, socialize at the light rail, and get balloon animals. Or find more homeless playing chess. On the same street we found Robert playing guitar. Denver is a nice place at all, and places like Maggiano's are great. And there are plenty of great people, and, well, graffiti. But like any other city, there's a common problem. Move a little northeast of downtown, where a Denver rescue mission shelter is located. With people like, suffering, oh, the homeless is hanging out front. Around 26,000 people suffering from homelessness can be found in a given night in Denver. I don't like seeing them on the streets. You never know. Someone could come get them, rob them, or even get robbed themselves. Just hope we can give them a second chance to get them a home at least. You be seeing things when you be on the streets in the corner, picking up dirty blankets in the trash bins. This just ain't one good. That's why I figure I want to help out. Cause I don't want to go with through what they been through, even though know, it probably have been more. Let's just hope we give them a second chance. That's all. It's important that we learn more about what's going on because, like, we, like, I didn't know that, like, not having IDs was a problem for people to get jobs and stuff, which was, like, a huge part of homelessness. So we went out and faced the reality of the situation. I mean, what are we supposed to do about a situation this big? But we had a few ideas. I'm Diana. I'm Marcos. And I'm Thomas. This was our idea, Project Home. Our slogan, Fun Service Spread Unite. First, we set out to raise funds. Our first fundraiser was the Spare Change Frenzy. This means that we had the entire school donate money to our volunteers and the hallways within a minute. There was plenty of counting, of course. We took the concept of the spare change quite literally. We raised $355.41. Later, our mentor Jen Allen got involved, the owner of Nellis, and she helped us have a Nellis sale at her school with some of the social studies teachers. Not only do they have a tremendous social influence on the school, they also happen to have a megaphone. Yes. Yogurt's a great source of calcium, so you won't break your bones again when you fall over playing basketball. The fundraiser ran over the course of two days. We raised three hundred seventy seven dollars and twenty four cents. On top of that, we had a continuous fundraiser that created visual appeal for our fellow peers and teachers and staff. Each house was a minimum two dollar donation. And we made homes for those who volunteered with us or for our project in some way. It was so fun to watch our house project grow in the heart of our second home, Columbine. We used this to get our school excited for the cause. Through our donations, we raised $197.51 which was donated to the Denver Rescue Mission along with the other totals, coming out to $930.16. Next, we begin the serving aspect of Project Home. We partnered up with the Denver Rescue and brought down groups of our friends. Volunteering included wiping out tables, some meals, and preparing the kitchen for the main shift. There were many people who helped us out throughout the project. So to our 89 or so donors and volunteers, we, we are, are extraordinarily, extraordinarily grateful. grateful. Are you taking the picture or is it just the I don't know. <laughs> it's on video right now, but it will work. 